Hello, I am Dr. Cinema. I analyze and diagnose movies and explain them to you. Now, earlier today we saw the release of a trailer for the movie The Dark Tower and I broke my one rule and did a reaction video to it. I did that mostly because this movie is going to be a bit of a wild card. I mean, it is based on, his, on Stephen King's best novel series, but there's been so little promotion for it, it's been delayed twice, so it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. But I didn't really, but this diagnosis isn't about Dark Tower, it's about another movie that Stephen King was a part of, Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, isn't that great? Now, Maximum Overdrive is the theatrical adaptation of, I believe it's the story of the same name, I think, but it's probably under a different title, but it's the only theatrical movie that Stephen King actually directed himself, because in the trailer for it, he says, I just want someone to do Stephen King, right? It's like, <laughs> okay, but if it failed, it's all on you, buddy. But, and to be fair, we do see a lot of the usual tropes, such as the religious fanatic, uh, unexplained supernatural phenomenon it's really odd and there's like a lot of like set things like at the beginning of the film that you have to read like the only movie should that should have paragraphs to begin at the beginning for you to read is Star Wars okay but this movie is actually kind of fun to watch. It's a really good B movie, sort of satirical of Stephen King himself. Now, later on, he would say that he was, I think he said he was high or like coked up or something when he did this, but I'm not quite sure that's really the case. I think subconsciously, like Stephen King might have made this movie to be sort of a satirical poke at himself, like making fun of the stuff that he does. I mean, I mean, just, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of the work he's done, like, in the books is good, but when it comes to actually adapting them, so very few of them actually succeed. I mean, we just have to look at the miniseries, the miniseries for It, The Shining, Langoliers, and those things, and we can see that they aren't really the best at adapting stuff either. So, in my personal opinion, it's fun to see an author who is in charge of adapting his own work onto the big screen to actually be able to poke fun of himself. I mean, it's actually really entertaining to watch and this premise is so crazy. Like, apparently a comet passing by Earth sort of gives, like, machines life for a few days and one of the trucks has a face that reminds me of the Green Goblin from Spider-Man. I'm like, what? And then we got like this like military platform vehicle with like a little stand swivel thing for a machine gun and like a steering wheel with like the horn this horn in Morse code. Just like what? This is this is so odd. Like Honestly I think Stephen King actually really did this as a B movie that is that's a satire of himself and whether or not he really was high or not, I mean, this is still a fun movie that I think you should check out because you'll get a few laughs. Ain't that right? He got some laughs out of it. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and Dr. Cinema, see you next time.